Welcome to She Rebel Radio, a community-driven podcast dedicated to supporting women to unlearn conventional rules and create businesses of significance. Each season, She Rebel Radio brings you insights and advice from noteworthy women entrepreneurs who strive to create more meaning, impact and purpose. Now here is your host, Lulu Mins. Episode 72, Five Reasons to Find Your Mothership. Welcome ladies, it is She Rebel Friday and we are here talking about the ever elusive but so important mothership. And I'm really excited to dive into this episode with you today because I frequently talk to my clients about finding their mothership, staying in formation with their mothership, and I have been creating motherships for the past five or six years in business that have been really, really supportive to my clients. And I wanted to just take a moment to think about, before we dive into the five reasons you need to find your mothership, as always, we're going to dive straight into this juicy content and consider what a mothership is. And there are a few, you know, different definitions and explanations, but a mothership is either, you know, a large spacecraft or ship from which all the smaller crafts are launched or maintained. So a mothership is the big ship, often accompanies a small fleet of yachts or something like that. And this episode's been coming for a while. I... When I was in Goa back in 2018, I've been a couple of times, but when I was hosting a retreat in Goa at the amazing Ashiana Yoga Retreat for my clients, I went for a walk on the morning. I can't remember if it was the first day of our retreat or the second day, because we tend to do a four day group coaching and then like breakout sessions in the second day. So I think this might have been the day before the group coaching. And I lead very intuitively. And whilst there's always, you know, a plan and a formation, I'm always open to leaping out of that and, and going where I need to go in accordance with the intentions and things like that, that are set with my clients. But we'd had a beautiful opening ceremony the night before in one of the yoga shalas. And I got up nice and early and I was actually missing my hut on the beach because I've moved into more of the main kind of shalas, which are absolutely beautiful, but I I enjoy the waves and hearing, hearing that. And I went for this beautiful walk on the beach, no shoes on, really tuning in with myself so I could be fully present and with my clients and hold that important space for them. And I was just watching the birds and I think I thought they were starlings, but that's me being very British. And I've done a little bit of research and I think they're, there's greater sand plovers or, and there are, um, I think they're, as well as greater sand plovers, there's ones that are not so great. Um, (laughs) whether that's the right explanation probably not but you know what I'm saying and they were flying in formation you know as birds do like in a giant v-shape and I was just watching them how beautiful they were and there were people doing yoga on the beach and tai chi and you know if you've ever been to a beach in Goa I definitely highly recommend going really north or really south. I'm not going to say where we were. They did say the name of the yoga retreat because anything you put out there now kind of gets flooded with people and um I just want to protect the, the quieter areas. And but there was quite a lot going on in the beach in the morning. And I noticed that, you know, a couple of the birds dropped out of the formation and kind of landed on the beach because they were swooping down, all of them landing on the beach and then swooping back off in their formation. And this happened a couple of times that a couple of the birds didn't realise that the, the mothership the big formation of all the birds then swooped off and they were kind of pecking around on the beach, looking really confused, like they couldn't remember where they were going, what was going on, why they were here, what day of the week it was, whatever that might be. Now, we've probably all been in that space this week, um, this year, I should say, with a year of lockdown, of going, oh, why are we here? What are we doing again? What's the purpose? What, what am I supposed to be doing? And a real sense of things maybe feeling much more important than they were before of things that you've been meaning to do or, you know, the tail end of things that that you have been doing. But we've been really pulled away from groups and, um, you know, forced to isolate, to be on our own. I'm quite naturally introverted, so I like a lot of that, but I really need that mothership and, and the group stuff as well. And it's always been a big part of what I've hosted. And, you know, going back to the birds in Goa, 
they were confused. They were lacking clarity. They couldn't remember where they were going, what they were doing or why they were doing it because I could see it on their, you know, little faces as they were pecking around. And then the mothership would come back round and they'd be like, oh, there it is. And they'd jump back on board and they'd, you know, have a beautiful fly around. And that happened a number of times. And I remember sharing that with my clients on our day of full group coaching, which it has come back to me. It was that day. I do remember exactly where we were sitting. So I really wanted to share with you how important that is, because when we don't know where our mothership is, as we've been forced to separate from one another in this past year, we become separate from our formations and things that's so important to us, we can become easily confused, lack clarity, and direction. I've definitely had moments of that this year because I haven't been able to connect with those usual formations. Yes, we can do that online, but actually it's really important to also do that in person. So fingers crossed that we're able to do more of that. And I will share more with you about the retreats that we've got coming up at at the end of this podcast in June, uh, August and October. And you may be following me on social media. If you're not, please do find me, Lulu Mins, um, Lulu Mins Biz, B-I-Z, or She Rebel Radio, across all the platforms, you will find me. We've been sharing A to Z of retreats and the 26 reasons that you need to attend a retreat with us this year. And that is a retreat that I host with my co-host, um, Gems from Gem Yoga, who's an incredible yoga teacher and creates extremely complimentary and really foundational yoga that goes along with the number of things that I teach um, at being your mothership if I am or you would like me to be. So I really wanted to dive into how important it is that we reconnect with and find our motherships and also be fiercely loyal to those motherships for a period of time so we can, you know, take those learnings. It may be, you know, people are in our lives for a reason, a season or a lifetime. And it may be you find a mothership for a reason or a season, or it could be your life time mothership it doesn't really matter as long as you are connected to those motherships somewhere along the line and as I was doing some research about this because I've been talking about birds I started thinking about geese because I know that when geese fly together they fly uh, quicker or they go further so I started doing a bit of research and I found an amazing article by Bill Gosling which I'm going to put the link in the show notes of this episode And he shared five incredible reasons um, or five things geese can teach you about teamwork. Now, my clients tend to be self-employed. They are coaches, consultants, creatives that are, you know, working with a lot of the principles and things that I teach and bringing that into the work that they're doing. And, you know, it's, it's, they're, they're solo ships, okay, which is why it's even more important that they find their mothership to, to do that work with them. So I wanted to share with you what Bill Gosling has, has taught us about geese, because I'm no expert, but I know that um, I'm super connected with nature. Nature's very feminine energy, and many of my clients, listeners, followers, those in the She Rebel Radio members community love you know, when we have conversations with nature and how we can bring that more into our lives, our businesses, and how we show up in the world. So Bill Gosling shares these five reasons, which I'm going to share with you as to why imagining yourself as either that bird on Goa Beach, which is not a starling, which is a sand plover, or as a a goose, Um, goose, geese, whichever it is, uh, as to why you need to find and be fiercely loyal for your to your mothership for a period of time. And the first reason is they go further. They do go further. And the reason for that is, as Bill Gosling shares in his article, is each bird flapping its wings creates a lift. So that energy creates a lift for the other birds. And what they notice when they fall out of that formation of those geese flying together is that they are suddenly on their own and they need to use more energy and they get more tired quicker. So they need to come back into that formation of their mothership um, to get where they want to go, to go further than they would on their own. So take a moment to pause and see how that sits with you. What formation and support of a mothership do you need so you can go further? Are you feeling depleted and exhausted by doing everything on your own? And I think we're all feeling that this year. I've already said that. Number two, 
support during the tough times. We've had a tough time. You know, we haven't seen, and I know it annoys some people when we compare this period to um, the world wars, etc. You know, we've been, it's a very different thing, but we haven't seen our lives change on such a, a vast level as this since the Second World War. And I didn't know, reading this article, that when uh, uh, one of the geese becomes unwell or, you know, not fully fit and they need to drop out of the formation, two other geese actually stay with them until they're better. And again, this is becoming really important because, you know, in 2020, we really did enter a decade of purpose. We entered a decade of transformation and change, and they've been really tough times, and there are more to come, okay? That's individually and collectively. So we need that support from one another, from those in our mothership, to stop with us, to be still with us when we are suffering or not finding things easy, and to have that support from them, for for them to even stop with us. So that's really, really key. Number three, in this incredible article, as I said, that I'm going to share, um, geese take turns to lead. Why? The reason for that is there's no lift for the front goose because they're at the front, they're not getting the lift of each bird flapping its wings. So again, they can become tired. So bear that in mind of the people that have supported you and led you. Um, You know, it may be that you don't think they overtly need support on social media and stuff because they're ahead of where you're at. Not true. Common misconception. And, um, you know, so geese take turns in taking that lead role. And I know when I was doing some market research in respect of creating the She Rebel radio community, which again, I'm going to tell you some more about as we wrap up this podcast episode, is that, you know, those those women that have worked with me, those women that have been part of my community before, those fans, listeners of She Rebel Radio, really want somewhere that they can contribute to. And I am a big advocate of I'm not anybody's guru. You're always your own guru. I just plug you into that um, to help you find the answers that you already know. So in our She Rebel Radio members community, again, the link of which is going to be in the show notes for this episode and a couple of the previous ones, is we are doing Welcome Wednesdays. I've always done that when I used to run groups on Facebook etc it's a big group you know with with 800 or so women in it and you know we've needed a much uh, up level platform for the up level conversations and things that we're having and we would have a welcome wednesday post welcoming new members to the group this time what we have is um a different person in the group doing an introduction welcome wednesday which is going to be amazing because it really is a space where everybody can take the lead and we take turns to lead it's not about me it's about a community that we are creating together okay and not one person being the front goose i am not the front goose at all um, there are times when i will take that role and there are times when others will take that role Number four, to cheer your progress. Geese honk during their flight. And apparently scientists, it's not been proven, but have, you know, speculated that that's to encourage one another on a long flight that they are nearing their destination and getting to where they need to go. There is a form of communication there, which again is really important. And it's really important for you that you have people within your formation, within your mothership, who celebrates you and the noteworthy news that you have to share. Now, you may have noticed if you share it with friends and family, they don't really get what it is that you're celebrating oh I've had this many downloads of the podcast that's lovely darling great you know and you do get those people around you of course that do really support it but there are many who do support it but don't really understand it and don't understand maybe the journey the path that you've had to get from that a to b so again in the she rebel radio community we are celebrating noteworthy news mostly on a friday we've got an incredible thread growing where, you know, we're celebrating some amazing things that the participants in that group are doing and achieving and, you know, seeing and moving forward with. And what I should note here 
is that this isn't about, um, you know, this isn't on social media either. So the idea of this uh, group of this new mothership that we're building is you could spend five minutes in that group once a week and get 50 minutes worth of content that you would get being distracted on social media, forgetting why you went on there in the first place. You know, this is our own platform. So when you go in there, you only have the She Rebel Radio community and news, which is coming up. How cool is that? Number five is the geese are loyal to their purpose and their goal. They're going north to south or south to north. They are committed to that goal, to that greater purpose. And it's important for you to find a mothership that has a similar purpose and goal to you. And we are in the She Rebel Radio community really committed to creating greater social change, to leading with feminine-based principles and to creating greater thought leadership for women. So if they are things that all resonate with you, then we would love to see you in the group which is free for a month. Um, So please um, find the link below and you can join us at the She Rebel Radio members community. And I promised also, didn't I, to tell you about the retreats that we have coming up. We have three retreats, which is where you get to meet your mothership in person and you can continue to have, you know, the beauty of our retreats is they don't start and finish at the retreat at the in-person event itself. You will get access to self-study before you attend the retreat. You will get access to the community if you join our community. You can access other retreat attendees before the retreat and um, afterwards as well in our members community. But we have the Feminine Success Retreat coming up in June. We have the Three Keys to Self-Actualization coming up in August and we have the Space and Significance in October. They are all staycation retreats here in the UK. If you do want to travel over and you can, please do. But just contact me. There is an application process. I would love to have a conversation with you about it. We would love to host you at the retreat and to you know really create that mothership for you where we can support you to go further we can support you through any tough times we will take turns in leading holding the space for others but also taking up the space yourself we will cheer your progress and celebrate your noteworthy news and things that you are doing and celebrating and we will all have our own individual purposes but they massively interlink with one another's. Um, So we have an application process for the retreat to make sure that the women there are the right fit. And um, I can't wait to hear from you. So I'll put a link, I will put a retreat application link in the show notes and you can book and, and have an informal conversation with me as to which retreat would be a good fit for you. But now is the time, ladies, to... Find your mothership and be fiercely loyal to your mothership for that next period of growth and transformation that you are going through. And I'm super excited that we're going to be able to do that in person and also have the support formation by way of the She Rebel Radio members group, which you can also access. And I would love you to be part of. Have an amazing rest of the day. It is She Rebel Friday. It's our favorite day of the week. And I look forward to being back with you next week. Thanks for listening to She Rebel Radio, the podcast for women unlearning conventional rules and creating their businesses of significance. She Rebel Radio is executive produced by award-winning coach and advocate Lulu Mins. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit subscribe. And if you're feeling social, find Lulu Mins and the She Rebel Radio community using the links below.